So, y'all, I wake up today because I got to go to work. Okay, but I was up late last night. So, I slept long. But I woke up to all of this mess with Tamar and Vince. And I've been watching Tamar and Vince this season. So, Thursday when I watched the episode and Vince was like, we're in a much better place. And I don't want to be the type of partner that, you know, only feels like the other person has to do the work. And I don't have to really try to change or anything. So, I'm thinking that they about to be in a good place. But, oh, no, baby. Tamar drops the T that Vince and got some whore pregnant. Okay? And a whore decided to tell her on Christmas and uh, on Christmas Day, Vince got arrested because he violated the uh, restraining order by calling her big and lying, talking about it's not true. Then she threw Lord Govan's name out there because Gilbert Messy Ass Arenas told her that he saw Vincent and Tamar on a vac. I mean, I'm sorry, saw Vincent and Laura on a vacation together and that they fucking. And then Famous on Instagram went through everybody Instagram, okay, and because I was looking at the posts. And she was putting up all these pictures of them together, Tamar and Laura and Vincent all being together at certain places, all kind of stuff. Then Laura putting capital V's whenever she's talking about whoever this guy is that she's in love with. This shit is getting messy. It's getting real messy, you guys. And I'm and I was already sad about it, but I wanted them to work it out. I really did. I wanted them to work it out. Even though I recognize that Vincent is a huge fucking asshole and does the most when it comes to Tamar. He really is the passive aggressive person in a relationship. And I think that because of his emotional, mental, and sometimes physical abuse, Tamar acts out. Even as a young child, she always was the act out type. But in a relationship where she's trying to be controlled like she says she is, I could totally understand understand why when she's in front of everybody else it's all this vibrato and I'm everything and all of this and y'all have several seats and talking about her family's relationships and what they should be doing in their marriages some people are saying that this is karma and this could possibly be karma for her being so callous with her sister's relationships all of that shit but at the end of the day that does not make it any less sad to see you know the marriage of family dissipate and fall apart in front of our very own eyes with all of this mess okay then she put this video up last night and i can't find a video on her instagram now of her sitting up there listening you must not know about me you must not know about me you know what i'm saying i can't have another you in a minute all of that shit with a hat on you tried it okay now i don't know if the pregnancy rumor is true but it could very much be true y'all out here fucking deflated skinny vents and i am not here for it because i wanted them to work it out you guys and i'm just very confused because he never comes out and says anything and i understand that sometimes that might be the best thing to do but when people are accusing you of abusing your wife cheating on your wife getting other bitches pregnant nigga a statement would be useful okay a statement would be nice So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come to y'all real quick and talk to y'all about this because it's just all over the place. And I am putting out like a top, you know, 2017 video. Um, I'm probably going to put that out on Monday because I have to work this weekend. And I have a Christmas vlog that I'm working on. And whenever I'm done encoding all of the video, I will definitely put that together so y'all can see the cooking process that I had on Christmas Day and, and some of the foolishness with my family, you know. It'll be like a Christmas vlog that I put together. So I'm still trying to put together those two videos for y'all. Don't get it twisted. I got something for y'all. But I just had to come and talk to y'all real quick about this Tamar and Vince situation. Then Tawanda, I forgot about that. Tamar said to Tawanda, like the comment when a girl was talking about that, you know, this is just uh, Tamar's uh, karma biting her in the ass. And I just kind of felt like as her sister, even though you might feel like that, y'all need to show a united front. But I feel like so much has happened between Tawanda and Tamar where Tamar has let her fans talk shit about Tawanda that that level of sisterhood is over between them two like I feel like now Tawanda may not say anything but she definitely gonna be liking comments that say what she wanted to see you know what I mean I ain't mad at Tawanda but it's just messy you know then going back to when the mama was doing her full you know her full city uh circuit tour (laughs) all right telling us about everything going on in their relationship you guys Y'all keep me updated, and I'll keep y'all updated. We'll talk about it. All right? I'll wash my head today. I'm going to love y'all. Bye.